It's the last beard of Christmas my true love gave to me. This giant big beer. Hey everybody, Joe Buddy Jimbo. Blue collar beer review, one beer, one take, all for y'all. And look, things are gonna go different. Things are gonna go different today. But a good friend of mine gave me this. And he said, I got you das boot. Das boot right here. And I've known about this for a long time. And and I I bet a lot of you know about Das Boot. But you don't know the real story, do you? And and to be honest, I don't even know if I'm allowed to tell y'all about this. But I'm gonna. Because this is the real story of Das Santa's Boot. All right? Everyone says it, even says it on the box. It says, oh, it's the Das Boot. It's about the German general who promised his, his, his troops that if they won the glorious victory, that they would, they would, that he would drink beer out of the boot. That's not true. That's a lie. It's a trick. It's a fabrication. It's a bending of the real story. All right? Do you guys want to know the real story? I'll tell you the real story. Da Santa's boot, okay? That's the story. This boot isn't a general's boot. Well, it kind of is, if you're talking about General Claus. General Santa Claus. Look at this boot. Does this look like a military boot? No, it's a Santa boot. Everybody knows it's a Santa boot. All right? That's where it comes from. Big Hollywood, Germany, the Germans, back in the day, they're always twisting stuff up. And, and Hollywood's like, oh, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll take this, we'll, we'll, we'll take the real story and we'll change it and we'll turn it into like, like Rudolph or some crazy stuff like that. But that's not true. So here we go. Here's the story. We'll get to the beer and we're going to do the double dump and all that. But we're gonna, I'm going to tell you, the, it, the story's got to give me some room, all right? Because I'm breaking some rules here, all right? This is the real story of the Santa's boot, all right? So, way back, way back, all right? We're talking, uh, you know, a hundred years ago or so. Things weren't going really Great, up there at Santa's workshop. Things were going sideways. They were going sideways quick, all right? There was, it was a tough year. It was a bad year. And, and there was all sorts of issues. There were a bunch of disgruntled elves that didn't want to work, all right? They were like, oh, conditions, man. And, and you know, um, there was, some of the elves were getting sick because they weren't taking care of themselves and stuff. And it, it just wasn't working. And, and they were like, oh man, we can just go to, we go to the, 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 you know, the Misfit Island and just chill there and, and, you know, collect the check. And there was supply chain issues. There was all sorts of stuff going on. But there was a core of elves. They didn't let that. They were like, they didn't care about all that. They went to work, and 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 they were they were grinding, man, and 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 Santa was depressed, and Mrs. Claus was like, well, you know, I don't know what we're gonna do, and then you need to motivate them, and and we need to all come together, and you know, and Santa was like, you're right, so Santa went. To the elves that were there. The ones that have stuck. Stuck with it. They had. They they just wouldn't quit. They wouldn't quit. And he was like. And, and, and Santa is like a general. You know. He wants to be. 
with the troops and the troops want him to be with him, but he can't because that's just, it's just not how it works out, man. The leader has to lead and he can't fraternize. But the elves always wanted Santa to party with him because the elves are off the chain, man. When they're not working, they're, they're, they're doing stuff, man. They're living life. And Santa was like, boom, I got this idea. And Santa went. And he stood before the elves and he said, look, if we can make this happen, if we can get Christmas done, if we can get these toys made, if we can get all these gifts made, I, when I get back, will pound a beer out of my boot and we will throw down like it's 1999. <laughs> right? He quoted Prince. And Prince wasn't even born yet. That's how fortuitous. That, that's how Santa knows stuff. And the elf were like, yeah! Yeah! Da Santa's boot! We'll do it! Let's do it! So, they all bared down. They just, they, they did. And they got the toys made. They got everything done. Alright? They got it done. And then Santa was like, uh-oh. I got to deliver. So Santa loaded up the sleigh and he had a plan. He was like, I got to come through because I've made this promise. And now I got to deliver all these toys in this tough year when it's just rough and he was going to do it. But also he made the promise to the elves and he's like, oh man, this is how, I don't know. <laughs> So, he took off. It was a bad night. It was, it, was, it, was, it was that night, you know, where in the show, they're like, oh, he went to Santa. He went and Santa went and found Rudolph. No Rudolph. Dasher. Dasher saddled up, you know. He's like, I got this. We got this. We're going to make it happen, Santa. All right. Are you bringing the special forces with? And Santa was like, ha, 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 you read my mind. All right? And in the bottom of the sleigh, tucked under the sleigh, he had Elf Team Six tucked in there. All right? And that was going to happen, but no one really knew about it. But Dasher knew something was up. Because when they took off on that sled... They were labored. They almost couldn't. They almost couldn't get it off the ground with all the extra weight. But they managed. They 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 all pulled together and they lifted off. And they took off into the gloom. And they knew tonight was going to be the night. So when they got over to drop zone, special drop zone. Yeah, <laughs> in Germany. They dropped off. Santa was like, go, go, go. Boom. Elf Team Six. Boom. Out of the bottom of the sleigh. Dropped down. Into the night. Into their LZ. And they landed. All right. And Santa, off he went to deliver the packages. But Santa had given Elf Team Six a job. And no one knew what that job was except them. When they hit the ground, they hit the ground running. And there were some naughty people on the naughty list. But they had a special talent. So SEAL Team 6, a.k.a. ELF Team 6, right? ELF Team 6 went in and rustled those guys up. And they were all the managers of this certain plant. It was just a manufacturing plant. He rustled them up. They hadn't been treating their workers right. So they rustled them up and they brought them to the plant. And they said, you're gonna do what needs to be done because Santa says so. And you're on the naughty list. And if you wanna get off the naughty list, this is what needs to happen. And they were like, oh, no, the Santa, the Santa, okay. And Elf Team Six 
made them do what needed to be done. And guess what? They got it done. Just as they were getting it all done, team rustled up everything and they told them, you need to treat your employees better. Next year, you'll be on the nice list. We're gonna spare you. Thank you for your hard work. And they extracted out of there with all their goodies that they had had made, all right? And as they were, as they were getting out of the perimeter of the plant, Dum 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 The rotor blades of a 53 Super Stallion. You could hear it coming in, dusting in low, out of the gloom, the snowstorm. It was crazy. What a pilot. Who could pilot such an aircraft, such a helicopter, in such terrible weather, in such trying times? And if you looked behind the stick, it was Mrs. Claus. Nobody ever knew. Everybody always thought that Santa was the best pilot. Oh, he flies the reindeer. The reindeer with the sleigh. Oh, you know, it's just, it's heroin. <laughs> nah. Mrs. Claus, she was a Marine Corps aviator back in the day. One of the first, actually. And she could fly. She dropped it in, she dusted in, laid that ass end down onto the ground, popped the tailgate, and boom. Elf Team Recon busted out, secured the perimeter. As Elf Team Six came in, they took fire. It was ugly. The security from the, from the factory were mad. They, they, they didn't know what was going on. There was a firefight. But everybody got loaded in. All the goodies got loaded in. Boom. Mrs. Claus, <laughs> oh man, pulled off, dusted off, gone. Into the night. Mission success. They just had to get home. And they did. They made it home. They made it home before, before the sun even came up. They were way early. Dusted in, landed, got off. Got everything set up. <laughs> yeah. But the clock was ticking. Santa wasn't back yet. Where was he? Was he going to make it? Was he going to deliver? I don't know. They didn't know. The elves wondered. Was, was it just too much? Was it just too much? Would they fall? Would this be it? But just at the darkest hour, just before light, they heard that. Jing, 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 jing. They heard that those bells on Santa's sleigh. And they knew that the big man, that the fat man was coming in, coming in hot. And there he was, all of a sudden. Ho, ho, ho! Ha! And bam, they came in hot, heavy, no presence, before the sun even come up. And he was like, I made it. Did you do what I told you? Elf Team Six was like, yes, sir, we're ready for it. As he climbed off his sleigh, all the elves came out. Woo! They were screaming. Everyone was happy. Mrs. Claus. Yeah, she's happy. He was like, to, to everyone, to all, a good night. We will retire to the hall. And as they all marched over to the hall, when they opened up the doors, at every elf's seat was a glass of Da Santa's boot filled with beer. Santa had all those boots made that night. 
and he had Elf Team 6 bring them and set them up for everybody and fill them with all the glorious Christmas ale. And he stood there in front of everyone and he raised his boot. But not his glass boot. No, Santa took off his boot while everyone else had a glass boot made and filled his boot up. And before he drank it, he thanked Mrs. Claus, smacked her on the butt, gave her a big kiss, and thanked her, and thanked all the elves, and thanked all the operators, and you know who you are out there, for all the hard work they did. And that is the story of Da Santa's boot. And me, I, will drink a boot in honor of Santa. Mrs. Claus and all the elves and all the operators out there. That's a story. It's a true story. I swear. I, you know, my security clearance might be taken from me for letting this out, but that's the deal. I didn't want to tell anybody this story, but I felt I had to. It's a story that we can all get behind. This beer, brewery, St. Bernardus, West Flanders, Belgium. 1946, they started making these beers, all right? This is a Christmas ale, AKA the Abbey Ale. <laughs> this beer right here. It's got as much history behind it as that story I just told you. And it's all about Christmas. All of this, the beer, the story, the love, it's just everything. It's just so wonderful. And I'm gonna, I've never, it, it always felt like sacrilege, not, I, I'm never gonna do, I, I wouldn't do Da Santa's boot, I wouldn't do it, because I didn't feel like I had earned it. But, I got the gift, and I told the story, and I'm gonna try. I feel like maybe I can try. I might not succeed, I might fail, but it's all for y'all, all right? One pipe, 9.4 fluid ounces. <laughs> ABV, 10%. Wah, wah, wah. Mama came heavy. My true love came heavy. <laughs> she was slow rolling me. She was slow rolling me with those little beers all the time. Uh, four, 12 ounces, 4.7% alcohol. And then I got this monster and I got this. And I got the twisty twisty. <laughs> oh man. It's like, and the poppy poppy. <laughs> oh my god oh Santa the elves this this is a live beer okay so it's gonna take a minute to deal with we're gonna have to let this cook down we're gonna talk about it a little bit The fermentation process in this beer isn't complete when they bottle it. And so, look at that. I mean, it's still alive. This beer will last. This, this beer will get nothing but stronger and better every year it's in the bottle. All right? We're doing a little disservice by coming opening it up right now, it's still gonna be incredible. 
Belgian beers. <laughs> if you guys know me at all, you know they're my favorite. They, they're the one. It's not Germany, it's not Switzerland, not anywhere. Belgium is where beer was made. It's where it started and it's where to make the best beer. Cut and dry. That's it. There's no argument about it. Well, St. Arnold makes a pretty good beer here in America. <laughs> All right. Oh, look at that. Oh, we're almost there. I think there might be a little splash left. Look at that. The Santa's boot. <laughs> oh, man. This is, this is something crazy. Oh, it smells. It's got some spicy. Oh, smi spicy, spicy, spicy booziness to it. Look at the color. It's a perfect boot color. It's got that leathery, worn leather type uh, flavor, or flavor color. It sounds like elves working, like they were busy making stuff. Yeah, it's, it's perfect. I don't know. I don't know if this is ever going to go down. So I'm just going to have to power through. From what I understand, there's a trick to this. So, I, I, I guess I have to rotate the, I don't know. Or I'm gonna get the air bubble, I, I don't know. This could end horribly, I swear. It very well could. And I'm gonna do my best to pound this. And I wish you all a very Merry Christmas from Blue Collar Beer Review, from me and my team to all of you. This is for Santa, the elves, and all the operators out there. Merry Christmas. Da Santa's boot. I couldn't do it all. Brussels lace. Brussels. Belgium. That's where it came from. They're not messing around with this beer. You guys. Brewery. St. Bernardas. Their Christmas ale is just, it's so Jimbo approved. It's, it's double Jimbo approved. It's a wonderful beer. You guys should definitely try it. Or try any Christmas ale. I hope you all bought some. I hope you all have a great Christmas. I hope you enjoyed the 12 beers to Christmas. I love y'all. Merry Christmas. Yo, buddy Jimbo! Out.